All right, guys. I uh, just thought I'd talk about a place I stopped in yesterday. Um, just to be aware, there is a lot of really grotty hotels in London. Um, it's not all about the sparkly Christmas lights. It's, it's it's about charging as much as possible for properties that resemble Rising Damp, the old TV series. Um, so I've been up since about five yesterday. That's why I'm still tired now, and I'm starting to get a cold, as you can probably hear. I can, my nose is blocked um so i was in like got to london it's a problem at euston station uh relating to power lines i think so the, the station was sort of closing as i got there uh so no way home <laughs> <coughs> um went and did my office stuff went out for dinner with some of the guys from work and then um i thought uh, Okay, time I go to the hotel, it's all pre booked. Um, use a company called Travel Perks. But I got there and I can't find the hotel. And I'm looking on Google Maps and I'm like, it says it's here somewhere. Put the address in again, comes out the other side of this area. Then on the other side, not there. Come back, and there was loads of people looking at their phones and stuff outside with bags, and I thought, they're looking for exactly the same place. Um, it's a place called Annabelle's. Annabelle's Hotel. Worst place I've ever been to. And I've been to cheap hotels. This one was nearly 300 quid for the night. And uh, I would say uh, Derek House is probably more in keeping with the state of the place. But anyway, um, so. There was a, some Swedish, I think they were Swedish. No, were they? no, they weren't. They were, I think they were from Norway, actually. Um, so there's, they were they were looking for a place, and another guy turned up. So there's a few of us. Um, and then somebody just come out of this house with no um, information on the door. It's literally just a door, um, no signs. I think it's number 35 or something, Hyde Park or something. But, um, and he just sh shook his head and he's like, don't go in there. <laughs> I'm like, is that the hotel? He's like, yeah, but don't go in there. Um, and then it's like, oh, what have we got ourselves into? So we went in. It's a little desk. No phone number. No, but no, a bell, nothing. Nobody there. Um, took a bit to find the phone number. Phone box is full. Can't check in. Everybody was sort of like scrambling around trying to get other accommodation. The Norwegians went off. Um, the, there was a guy there. He said, oh, do you want to share a cab? Because I, I was going to speak to one of my guys to see and go and crash at their place. And I thought, oh, no, it's not, it's not fair on them. So... Um, he says, "Oh, well, he's managed to get a plate. He's going to go and stop with his sister." And I'm like, oh, "No, I'll, I'll wait for travel perks because I've already, I've already put, booked it. And I'm not paying. I need, you know, they need to sort something else out." It's now nearly midnight. Still nothing. I uh, chased travel perks a few times, and at the moment, at that time, I'm like this. I'm already sleepy. I'm irritable. Getting close to smashing the place up with a fire extinguisher, <laughs> um, and then the, this guy comes in, and uh, my American guy, and I says, uh, "Are you the checking guy?" And he says, "No." He says, uh, "Just find a room with a key in the door and just take it." He says, "Just take the key out, go in the room and lock it." He says, "That's there is no reception here. Nobody comes. It's a scam." Um, and when you look at the Google photos. They're fake, they're fake on Expedia, they're fake on uh, Hotels.com, they're fake on um, Google. Uh, I just uploaded some real photos, so I'll be interested to see if they publish them. Because um, even the building is not the building, they've put a building from somewhere else. Um, every photo is fake. Um, so I've managed to get a room. Get in the room. Um, can't get to the wardrobe. There's a fridge in it, in front of it. Bleach on the uh, 
fireplace, absolutely freezing. Managed to get the heater on, got an electric shock off that. Then just lay on the bed because it was dirty and it was like, I've never been in that experience before. Um, it, it was horrible. <laughs> it was really horrible. Um, and then Travel Perks rang me and said they got me another accommodation. I says, look, it's now past midnight. I'm not going around London at midnight. I'm already tired, not interested. Sort it out. Um, and this morning I went on Travel Perks. My booking doesn't even exist. I think they just completely wiped everything. Checked on Expedia. No bookings being taken on this place. And, and it seemed like um, lots of people were going there as if it was a proper hotel. I have no idea how they're making money off it. Unless they're blocking people's refunds or something. But looks like all the uh, the websites are pulling the plug. Um, but yeah, I'll put up the video up after this one. Um, about the room itself. But, oh my god. I'm just glad I can get some sleep tonight. Because the door was... People were banging the door about 3 o'clock in the morning. I was up by 6 in the morning and then out. Because there wasn't even a shower. There wasn't even a bathroom in there. There was a couple of toilets in the building somewhere. Um, and to be fair, I wouldn't use them. Everything was just filthy. Um, when I got back, I couldn't wait to like strip off, have a shower and de -invest. Ah, Nightmare. I think they were, we'll try to charge 300 quid a night for it. But anyway... Just want to share that lovely little treat. Be careful when you're booking stuff in London. Thanks for watching.